So to kick things off, then I want to, uh, yes, thank you for the hearts and thumbs up. Appreciate the engagement. Let's me know that things are working right. Uh, so big picture, I want to do a quick poll of how many of y'all, it's just a quick pulse check, but how many of you have heard of porous plastics before or worked with porous plastics? There should be a pulse check that just showed up on your thing with a green thumbs up and a red thumbs down. That just helps me decide how much to uh, talk uh, and make sure that I'm Oh, nice. There's a lot of people on this call. Thank you all for joining. I'm really excited to share. Okay, so just at a snapshot right now, I'm seeing 50 people work with porous plastics, know what they are, have an idea of what's going on, and about 11 totally new. So I'll make sure I cover everything from start to finish in my talk. Okay, so big picture. Uh, when we are talking about porous plastics, we at Porex use these products to give you a functional solution to your needs. So with Porex, yes, porous plastic is our sensor technology, but we want to work with our customers because if we can make a win for you, that is a win for us. And so we love collaborating. We love doing that engineering development. And we have a team of material science engineers, mechanical engineers, chemical engineers, people with physics backgrounds and other technical degrees that can help support your product development, customization and scale up. Big picture. We have porous plastic. Let's say that the porous plastic we're working with is, uh, for the example of this conversation, these separate articles, right? And what you want is maybe some sort of a 3D shape that can give you the structural properties that you need or the flow properties that you need. So how do we get from here to there? And the answer is we have a couple of different ways of doing that. Right? We might form it in some sort of way that gives you the kind of shape that you need, but also we have some different technologies to be able to do that, right? So if we were to take these pieces, uh, this is a nice little visual analogy, but basically you want the material to stay together. So you might want it to bond from one piece to another piece to another piece, and this is water. So it's not a, not like a glue, but we're just kind of given a, this as an analogy to say, how would these materials come together? What kind of shapes could we make out of our materials and what kind of performance properties and uh, geometries would that allow us to deliver? Uh, I want to make this engaging and I want to make this interactive. And so I think that uh, one way to do that is to try to in real time, give you an example of a development buy it off the shelf, but let's say that we do a quick drawing, right? Let's say that you've got your idea of a sheet. Maybe we can dimension out and you say how thick you want this to be on this side. And we say maybe like less than one millimeter. Or we might even look at something that is much bigger and I don't know the contrast is great. So I'll put the other sheet underneath. We might look at something that is much thicker, right? This is three quarters of an inch thick and has a very large pore size compared to either of these other two materials. And so we might send you a sample and that way you have something in your hand that you can work with your team to be able to evaluate. So that's all that I have for you today. Really appreciate the engagement. I know that it was a lot of comments and typing, but uh, if you want more of that face-to-face -face time, my calendar's open to you.